Hi friends, so cream makeup can be a mature woman's best friend because we do have very dry skin and sometimes cream makeup with its extra emollients or its extra moisturizers can really be a great tool in helping our skin look more youthful, but it can be tricky too. So I'm going to show you my complete routine on how I put on cream makeup and keep it from looking mottled or settling or separating and all that good stuff. So let's get started with using a good primer on our face. We want to use something that does have dimethicone in it. I do anyway. A silicone really helps to fill in the pores. I'm using the Rare Beauty one right here. It's not the Illuminance one. It's just the regular pore one. I'm going to stick to these middle areas and I'm going to press that in as usual whenever you do any of your foundation and then whatever is left you can use on the perimeter of your face. Once I have that pressed in, I always like to go in with my concealer before my foundation because if I do that, I use less foundation and that's really what we're looking to do. So I'm going to use the Tower 28 today and I'm gonna put a couple of dots here. I'm also going to use the Tower 28 to just very lightly spot conceal a couple of areas that are a lot for me. I'm gonna use the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Fashy Concealer Brush and I'm just going to pat the areas that are for around my face in. Now I take my finger and I'm gonna spread out that Tower 28 concealer and I'm just going to spread it out. I'm not going to pat it in yet or blend it. I'm just going to spread it and let it set. I like to let it set up and then you don't have to do so much work with blending and you also get better coverage with it. Next, we're gonna go into the foundation. I have two different foundations that I'm using today that I really do like very much. The first one is the Good Apple Cream Pan Foundation. Um, as you can see, I've hit pan on it. I do love this one. And the next one is the Fenty Beauty Stick Foundation. And I love this one too because I need a new one. I'm using also the BK Beauty Foundation brush. It's the round one. I think it's the 105 or the 106. I'll make sure I put it there for you. Also, just so you know, for limited time, I have a code that you can use. I'll put it right up here. I have a code that you can use to get 30% off of any BK brush that you buy with the YouTube links. So if you see the pictures and you see the drop down, which I'll make sure that I have that linked with this, you're gonna be able to get that and use my code at checkout and you'll get the 30% off. I thank them so much for passing that savings on to you guys. All right, this is the best trick for any mature woman. Usually what mature women find is it's hard to spread out foundation or you get too much foundation on. This for me is the best trick. I do this with every foundation that I use, whether it's liquid serum or cream. I'm going to spray my brush with one spray of Max Fix Plus. This is my holy grail. I use it in everything that I do with foundations. And then I'm going to take the Good Apple KVD Beauty and I'm going to use the smallest amount possible. You do not want to use a lot. This is key when you're a mature woman. Smaller is better. The other hard part is picking up the smallest amount you can. So I'm going to pick up what I feel like is a small amount, but if I put it on and just start and go in, it's not going to look like the smallest amount. So I'm going to rub it into my hand a little bit to get it down into the bristles of the brush. And once I do that, then I can start on my face and start on the middle part and then you're gonna work your way out. And I swirl with the brush. Um, sometimes, you know, you, you have a tendency to wanna go really fast and, you know, just swipe. I swirl or stipple. You can use it to stipple too. Stippling will give you more coverage, but that one little bit of foundation will do this first coat and make your skin look like skin. One more spray. This one is for my neck and my chest. Again, I'm gonna pick up just a small amount and then I'm going to work it into my hand, down into the bristles, and I'm going to do my neck and my chest. My chest, as you can see, has a ton of discoloration. So we're using this to even out the discoloration. This is a really good way for you to see how good foundation can be when you take it all the way down your neck and down your decollete, if you have a lot of discoloration like I do. Just a really big difference. So you have a little bit more on that brush. Now, I've got red here 
on my cheeks and I've got some sun damage and I didn't quite get the coverage I wanted on my forehead. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna do a little bit more coverage, not picking up more product, just using what's on the brush now. Spread it out. And then I'm going to, on these parts that are really bad and I have a tendency to not be able to cover them, I'm gonna stipple with the brush. Once I stipple, that's going to give the maximum coverage. So see the difference in the two sides? It really is stark in how this just evens out everything. Any foundation is going to do that for you, but here's the deal with the cream foundation. I used so very little. And then I tried to work it into my hand so it's not sitting on the top of the brush. It's kind of down in there and it's gonna spread around and be more even. All right, I'm gonna clean the brush and because I wanna use the same brush. With the Fenty, because this is stick, you're gonna think I can just paint this on. You're gonna get too much if you do that. So again, I want you to spray your brush a little bit. So one little spray, and then I want you to pick it up with the brush. And this is a little bit different because you're working with a smaller area. So it's gonna look like I'm picking up a ton. I'm not really picking up a ton, but again, work it into your hand. So you're pushing it down into the bristles. Start in the middle of your face and go out. Now, which one of these do I like better? You know what, I really like them both so much. So the KVD is gonna give you more of a natural finish, almost to the point of dewy, especially if you got too much on. This one from Fenty Beauty, this is going to give you a satin finish, not dewy at all. And then I'm going to pick up the next round of it. And I forgot to spray, so let's give it a little tiny spray. Get that hand all buffed out with foundation and down that neck and chest. Again, right here on the cheeks, tons of discoloration. Pat, 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 stipple, stipple. Now just take that Kitten Paw Concealer brush and use it to blend out the concealer that you have on. That concealer has set down. It's gonna give you more coverage with less product. It's just such a good idea to do that. And then if you have places around that you need to have a little bit more coverage, if you do have a dark spot, you can just pat in your concealer. Doing concealer first, letting it set, and then going back over. It's really just the easiest way for me to get my concealer to look absolutely creaseless and really give really good coverage because I have such dark spots. Now what I want you to do is I want you to take a dampened beauty sponge that you have wrung out in a towel or a paper towel and I want you to go over the parts where you normally get breakthrough. I know that you know those parts. I have some settling wrinkles right here from my face kind of falling. So I always go over that little area really well. I go over this area on this side through the chin because that's where it just looks modeled if I'm going to have too much on. This helps lift up the excess. And you know, if we have put too much on, this is our best friend. I even do this underneath the eyes because yes, I know that you can get too much even under your eyes and concealer. Now I have to set. I know a lot of people do not like to set their makeup. I have to set. This one is the BK Beauty 107. Um, I'm using this because it's a little bit more dense. Sometimes I use a powder puff. That's what makeup artists use. I use this brush because it's just a little bit easier to control and it's a brush and I like using brushes. Kosas Cloud Set, this is their pink version of their pressed powder. So pretty. I'm going to tap that product off. I'm going to put a little bit in my hand right here just to make sure that it's worked down into the brush again. And then I'm going to go across my chin to start. I'm setting everything, but I want to set it with a small amount of powder. Now I'm going to go up into the pore area where the pores are the most visible. And after I go through my nose, I'm going to go around the eye right there to set the concealer without too much powder. That's leftover powder. It's not the, you know, dip it into here, go straight in under your eye, because you're gonna look dry if you do that. You can almost visibly see this, make your pores disappear so quickly. I know a lot of you do not like to use powder 
because you're older. I get it, but the best thing you can do to set your makeup and make your makeup look flawless is powder and then use a good setting spray, which is what we're gonna do next. All right, again, I'm using a MAC product and this is the MAC Fix Stay Over Setting Spray. So I'm going to spray my face really well. This has a really nice fine mist on it. I'm patting all of that spray in to make sure that it melts with the makeup. I'm using the powder and then a spray, then it's not going to look dry throughout the day, especially if you use a spray that's alcohol free, works so well. So I'm gonna go take care of the rest of my makeup. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Take a peek at this video right here where I show you the best foundations for mature skin at the drugstore and you'll be able to find some really good ones there. Take care you guys, love you much, bye-bye.